show me so much love. You show me what you're about. And I fall in love with you. God, please be that guiding light that you've told me to be. I want to I wanna take the love that you've given me. And I want to show you that I love you. I want to show the world I love you. And I want to show the world that it's you that's worth following. God, you know I've wanted to be a student missionary for a while. And you've, you've let doors open, you've let doors close. But it seems like this year, now, finally you've shown me. You've shown me that open door. But I'm scared. God, how do I know it's you? How do you? How do I know that what sits before me is what you want from me? I wish I could just have that faith to step out. Because God, I want to do your will. God, just this, this past month, Grandma passed away. She was connected to you. She's, she's the one who showed me who your love really meant. And, and as I spent time with family, and I, I, I figured out what the amazing thing she, she did and the faith that she had. I, I don't know. It, going through all of this stuff, it reminds me of a story I heard from my grandma. Nick, I never told you the story about your grandma going to the Philippines. One time, I was trying to get a hold of her for about three days, and I heard nothing from her. And all of a sudden, one day, Tom called me out. She says, hey, I'm in the Philippines. I what is this woman doing in the Philippines? She said one morning she woke up, and she felt like God and told her to go to the Philippines and share Ten Commandments with government representatives in the Philippines. So she had no plan. She had no real plan. She had no place to stay, but she did have this mission. So the next morning, she's on her way to the Philippines. But when she gets to the airport, her, her flight gets booked to first class. And then when she gets to her seat, she happens to sit next to a member of the president's cabinet. And they start talking. And since she had nowhere to stay, he invited her over to her house, his house. And he's like, man, you have to meet the president. So she meets the president. She, she meets the president of the Philippines. And he, he invites her along to, to share the Ten Commandments with all the government representatives in the Philippines. That is the kind of faith that your grandma had. That's the kind of faith I want. Give me that faith like I know you can. Why, Lord? Why? Why am I here? You brought me through all the all the paperwork, through all the, the traveling, through all the waiting. You brought me through all the goodbyes. And you led me to this island to be your servant. At least at one point I thought you would be me. So if I'm if I'm here for you, if you called me to be here, how come I don't feel like it? How come everything is going wrong? The school closed for three weeks right when I get here. How am I supposed to learn how to be a teacher when I can't even teach? How are the school the, the kids supposed to to learn, what are they gonna do? They're gonna forget everything. It's three weeks. And and my students' parents are already mad at me. I don't know why. I've done nothing. And how am I supposed to handle that? How do I how do I deal with someone two, three times my age? How do I defend myself against that? I don't have any room. I'm only 19. Lord, um my mom? While I'm gone, while I, I come here for you, you let her fall, you let her break her back, 
If you take what's most precious and you let it be broken, Lord, the least you could do, if I'm your servant, the least you could do is to protect my family. Because I'm here for you, why can't you be there for me? But Lord, I, I, want, I want to, to be firm. I want to be strong. I don't want to feel like this. I, I, I know at one point you were leaving me, and I know you can, you can do that again. I can have that back. Lord, I wish, Lord, I wish I had that faith that I had when I decided to do this. And I wish, I wish that I could put it into words. This is unusual, atypical, even unnatural, but I've been practicing so long and getting sick of the classical. For too long, taking it easy, sipping, slipping, watching from the side comfort of home, never thinking of refreshing or going browsing until I was full grown. For too long, having stuff, taking care of my mommy and daddy, quickly throwing out what's unfashionable or the tiniest bit shabby, looking around with blinders on, through a tunnel with no vision, seeing nothing wrong with all this cubicle living, all wrapped up in the screens in front of me, because they're more important than other human beings. Obviously, guilt is just a feeling, right? And yet, through the jungle, all the messes that I'm found in, something calls out to me to get out, get me grounded, to care about something that doesn't begin with I or me, to make an effort to live and love passionately. For more than traveling, getting away, new things, new faces, more than exotic food and scenic routes, for that is not the basis, of articulating the design of the Son of Man, to better realize the guidance from God's own hand. Yeah, we all know change can happen. Yes, we can. But we're shy, we resist, we ignore when it's not our plan. But the reason for the resistance, what it all comes down to here, what stops the change from happening within us is fear of the new and different that something could change, that those who love us will forget our names, or worse, leaving and coming to find we're nowhere near the same. Being the star of my own sitcom sucks because it's all reruns. The plotline needs to move along or get totally redone. Listen for the gut feeling, the uncomfortable quiet, the still voice to unlock countless blessings he may have. It's your choice. Lord, Lord, I know you sent me out. I know. I know you took care of me. God, you, when I struggled with, with, with leaving, you, you gave me faith. You gave me strength to follow. You showed me your words. You showed me what, what this faith meant. And you, you gave me the courage to go out. God, I, came, I, I was there. And through struggling with students and struggling with, with teachers and parents, you gave me the strength to do that. You need faith, and you know, when I was there, I felt like your servant. I did. I, I, knew that, I knew that you were with me. But you brought me back, too. You brought me back here, and I, Lord, I don't understand it anymore. I, I, feel, I feel so so disconnected with people, with, with, with the friends I used to have. I don't understand the way they act anymore. And damn it, Lord. I act the same way. God, God, I, I just want to, I want to have that faith. I want to have the faith that I had when I left. I want to have the faith that I had when I was there. Lord, things here are foreign now, but I know, I know when you bring us back, you sent us to be your missionaries and you brought us back because you taught us there. You taught us how to be Christians here. Lord, I know this is the mission field here. Lord, I know that, that you can give me the strength and the faith to walk here. Lord, that's all I ask. I just want the courage to be yours here. Lord, I know that you sent us to be, to be your hands, to be the feet of Jesus, to be your love. It's like a song, Lord. I, I wish I had that kind of faith.